think what's so exciting about artificial intelligence is its ability to really change the world. The technologies, especially AI, they are transforming every um, sector of our life uh, and the society itself. Uh, so it's a, it's a technology that uh, uh, actually can bring a lot of benefit, but at the same time we have to be very careful because it cannot just provide us with solutions, but at some point it can take decisions. I think the benefits for European society are the same as others. Um, the thing for policymakers to think about is just how the economy is really going to evolve and change. Um, and adapt itself to artificial intelligence. Very small differences in data sets can lead to big changes and big differences in the outcomes in AI systems. So we absolutely have to fight discrimination and bias in the data sets, in the training of AI models, and in how they're used and, and implemented in companies and settings around the world. We see a gap in, uh, in talent, in AI skills. Uh, so, so today, twice as, ma as many men have AI skills than women. Um, which is not where we want to be today. We have seen that um, uh, diversity, uh, uh, when it's in included and when the data quality is um, exceptional, we have the best possible results. We know AI means that new kinds of jobs will, will become available and new kinds of skills will be demanded by employers. What we don't know is who's going to win or lose in that outcome. At AWS, we invest heavily in STEM education. And we have a variety of programs that really address learners at different stages of their journey and are tailored to their different learning needs. In fact, we're investing over $50 million to help train over 29 million students by 2025. I've seen how different uh, um, industry educate and support women in different ways. One thing that helped me personally the most is having very strong mentors that help me to understand how to constantly improve, how to challenge myself and how to reach my next level of my careers. The AIM High program uh, is a, a program specifically designed not just to, for startups and founders, but female founders. And what's so unique about this program is it really addresses the unique challenges that female founders have in terms of fundraising and building their businesses. We have a product that is working, but it's working on a small scale, and we wanted to ensure data security and to take the case what happened, you know, if thousands of millions of people start using it at once and this is something that AIMI uh, really helped us achieve and one of the added benefits is that we really met this amazing you know community of women founder uh, and we got a lot of help for it. Being in a community, helping each other, creating a network, mentoring each other, it helped us to feel stronger, to learn from other experiences and therefore to grow better and to grow faster. I think this uh, AMI program should be scaled up. Uh, it was the first time that it happened in Israel and it was like very successful for all startups but also for all of the other companies that joined the program. And I mean, as an European in origin and I know the ecosystem, I can really see how the uh, woman European founder could benefit from it. We absolutely have to increase the representation of women in AI and, and research and development, but we have to also retain women too. And these are, are, are issues that aren't just pertaining to the women at the top of the labor force. We need to make sure that the digital skills for women around the world are not falling behind. That's the way we're going to break the bias. In order to, to share the light of uh, how we can overcome these problems, we need everybody on board. And um, we already just talked about, uh, about Europe. And I think it's, it's necessary to ensure that governments would not even wait for a legislative file, they should be proactive in order to be more inclusive and um, understand the challenges that AI could bring. Challenges like gender biases, they're global challenges um, and they need a global solution and they need a uh, multi-stakeholder solution and that's why we need all these stakeholders, uh, governments, civil society, businesses, trade unions uh, and, and the academic sector as well to work together because we need a cultural transformation. My personal message for girls or women aspiring a career in ICT or AI, never ever doubt your abilities, just go for it.